Hey y'all. So today is a special treat. Everybody has been asking about my bread recipe. So I'm going to show y'all how I do my very easy, almost like store-bought type bread. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is show you the bread machine that was given to me. Huge benefit. Um, love this recipe. But let's take a look at the bread machine real quick. Okay, so this is my bread machine. It's a Sunbeam brand. It has some very simple um, settings on the top. I don't think my camera is going to focus on those, but basically I have some options over here that I can pick bread. That's basic bread, whole wheat, French, sweet, Express bake, quick dough, bagel dough, European jam, and bake. So, this is my menu that it will change those settings. This is crust color. And when I select crust color, you're going to see settings over there change. So, my setting that I use is light medium or dark and I like medium now we are going to be using three cups of flour and that will in essence give you about a pound and a half now if you were using two cups you would you would want the one pound and my loaf changes that now this timer affects your time what you would basically need to do with your bread machine is pull out the instructions and follow your instructions. This is the inside of the bread machine and I'm going I need to start with liquid. So that's what we're we're going to prepare right now. I have a half a cup of milk and 4 tablespoons of butter in the warmer. So I am warming up the milk, but I'm also melting the butter. All right, the next thing I need is I have this little cup. It's a measuring cup. I put a tablespoon of honey in there, and I have active dry yeast starter. Now, I know it's been this big debate with sourdough starters, easier to digest than store-bought, and I get that, but my family doesn't like sourdough. Um, the, the ones I've made in the past are very, very strong, and we don't, let me go back. My kids don't prefer the taste of sourdough bread. I'm not with making something like um, sandwiches. So this is our next best option. Um, even if you grab the, the loaves from the store, they still have a lot of stuff in them that you can't pronounce. And that's what I want to get away from. So that's the reason why we've chose to go this route. Now, I have specifically picked Red Star for a reason. If you look at the ingredients on the back, it only contains yeast. There are some companies out there that have yeast and a few other things. Again, I want simple ingredient, so that's why I have chosen this as well. Now, you want to activate your yeast. So, I've given my yeast something to feed off of, which is a tablespoon of honey. And I want to add a half a cup of warm water. So I'm not too hot because you'll kill your yeast, but nice and warm. And now I'm going to give that half a cup of honey and water a stir together. I want to dissolve my honey in that water. And when that gets done, I'm going to pour my yeast on top. And I'm going to let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes. I'm going to turn the camera off and then I'll flip it back on and show you how the yeast will get foamy at the top and then you know your yeast is activated. So my yeast goes in on top and I'm going to let this sit for about 5 or 10 minutes. Alright, my yeast is nice and activated. You can see that it's 
very frothy like on top like foamy okay now I have removed my milk and butter from my little oven that's what I call my little oven so I need my liquid to go in first so I'm putting my half a cup of milk and my four tablespoons of butter which is very hot I'm putting that in in the bottom So now that I have that in, I've got to move the camera so I can get to my flower because my camera is on the flower. All right, so now what I need to do is get my three cups of flour out and I use King Arthur. So one. flour in I want to add a pinch of salt which usually ends up being about a fourth of a tablespoon and I want to add not a tablespoon a teaspoon I'm sorry now I want to add but I just do a pinch I'm adding a tablespoon of honey tablespoon of honey is in there. Now I want to add my half a cup of water that has a little bit of honey and yeast in there. So y'all can see that's nice and foamy. I'm going to use my spoon and just make sure I have everything in there. Now the setting that I'm setting on my bread machine is going to be for a medium darkness the crust color medium i've got medium and i have a pound and a half set and i have the menu select for the basic basic bread so now i'm going to press start it's kneading i'm going to show you all that process So that's all the ingredients. I'm going to now let it do its thing. The one thing that I will mention, now we are actually just going to leave um, because we have some storms coming in tonight and tomorrow. Um, this is Friday today. So we have some storms coming in and we're going to run to town and grab a few things just because our weather is so unpredictable and there are chance of possible tornadoes tomorrow. So we don't take those types of alerts um, lightly. So we're going to run to town and just pick up a few things like some extra flour and stuff like that so I can make some extra loaves of bread and stuff like that just to put up in the freezer and um i'm not going to be here but in the bottom of your pan and i will show y'all this once i take my bread out usually this will knead for an hour and then i will dump my dough out when it's done kneading and there's a little piece that spins in the bottom and i take that out put my dough back in and let my dough rise so that when i take my loaf out I only have a very small piece on the bottom that my bread bakes around. Now, we will be gone today, so I'm not going to be able to get that little piece out, which just means that my bread is going to bake up, and I'm going to have my little spinner in there. It's going to make the shape into the bread. Now, that won't affect anything, but when I cut, my shape will not have a perfect line at the bottom, just because I'm not going to be here, but... I don't care because this is just for me and my kids. I'm not making it for a bakery or to sell or anything like that. But usually, I will just take that spinner out. And like I said, it still leaves a little bump in the bread. Um, but because we will be gone, it's gonna the whole spinner will be in there. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. That is okay to do. Um, and now that the dough is going good, I want to let y'all glance in and see just how fast that mixed up. The consistency is not sticky. 
but it's not hard either. It's still workable. And that's what you're looking for. Now, I may or may not be here to show y'all my bread once it's right and once it has rose. Um, if not, then you guys will see me next when the bread is done. Okay, so my dough is done. Unfortunately, we haven't left yet because we had some other chores to do. I've got a little about two hours left. So I'm fixing to pop this dough out and take that little spinny thing off the bottom. Okay, so quickly I'm going to pop this out. I'm going to dump my dough. And this is what I was telling y'all. It's at the bottom of the machine right here. It just pops off. And I'm just taking this out so it won't leave an indention in my bread. And I'm going to take my bread and just lay it back down in there. Pop it back in. It will rise for a, a, about an hour, a little over an hour, and then it'll cook it. Can't get any easier than that, y'all. All right, y'all see it's done. So I'm going to let it sit here and cool before I grab the pan out. And next step is letting it cool and cut it up. So now we need to get the bread out and slice it up. Now I have changed shirts, but I've been out in the greenhouse doing some aloe stuff. So I, I got out of my dressier clothes and just put some outside clothes on. This is in the same loaf and we need to get this cut up. So you can see here's my loaf and I did do a good medium blend um, on the crust color. And now I just need to get it cut. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not the best at cutting. Um, but what I like to do is get this outer layer off first. And then I'll actually start slicing my bread. So here would be like the crust that nobody wants, right? So now I'm going to actually start slicing my bread and slices for our sandwiches that we would eat. And you can see that we have a full size piece of bread that did not crumble when I cut it. It's spongy like the store bought. So for us it's perfect. We absolutely love it. And that is it. There's our loaf of bread. Now, that's like I said, the outside piece that nobody wants to eat. But that's our sandwich bread. It is yummy and delicious. It's very similar to store-bought without all the chemicals and preservatives in it. And happy homesteading, y'all.